There are two installation options. If you have chosen to dry lay the stone, grouting is not necessary. Just make sure you brush off any leftover mortar when complete. If you're using a mortar joint, these are the steps you will take. We've got a grout bag. We've checked our mortar to make sure that it's still a good consistency. Uh, at this point, you really need to check your mortar to make sure that it hasn't dried out too much. If it's started to dry, you can add some water to get it to the right consistency. And he's now going to start at the bottom and work his way up, squeezing it much like a cake decorating bag, and you just squeeze the mortar in the stone in between the pieces. You want to take care at this process not to get the mortar on the face of the stone because it can be difficult to remove later on. Brian's filling the mortar, do mortar joint just below the surface, the face surface of the stone. This will help keep the mortar off of the face and also when we go to scrape it or tuck point it as they call it, it will, it will not be as wasteful. Okay, the final step in the process is to tuck point the stone. Uh, as you can see, Brian's using just a regular stick. So what Brian's doing is trying to press the mortar into the stone, not, not scrape it out. You want to keep as much of the mortar in there as possible, and you're not worrying about the little chunks that end up uh, on the ex outside of the stone. We'll, we'll brush those off in a minute with a brush. When you start to scrape the mortar, you want to make sure that it's not hard on the outside, but starting to get kind of crusty on the surface. If you try and do this when the mortar's too wet, it's going to cause a film to show up around the outer edges of the stone and it doesn't look good and it's hard to get off. Now today there were two of us working on this project, but this is something that can be done solo. You don't need two people, it definitely makes the process faster. Take note that Brian is immediately brushing the stone. Uh, once, it's, once it's dried and been scraped, this is going to eliminate any of the stains left by the mortar. If you brush it the same day, you can get them off. If you wait, oftentimes it's too late. Hopefully these simple steps showed you just how easy it is to install Canyon Stone manufactured stone veneer on your house or business. It can be done with very simple tools that are easy to obtain. Thank you for your time. We know that there are several choices out there when it comes to stone veneer, so we thank you for choosing Canyon Stone. For more information on our products, visit our website at canyon-stone.com or call us at 913-254-9300.